Hi folks and welcome back to the Revelations Network. This is Brother Jesse and we're back again with another video. Today's video is titled The Illuminati and the Fall of Iran. So what exactly does this have to do with? Well, um, as you've probably been watching news reports through the mainstream media, um, Iran and the United States and some of the other foreign countries are trying to broker a deal with Iran basically to stop their nuclear uh, enrichment program so that um, they'll basically stop making nuclear bombs or trying to make one. Uh, they are in the process of trying to do that, uh, basically to protect their country for the most part. Um, but the Illuminati, um, along with the United States, uh, Israel, and a few others, countries around the world um, want to make sure that uh, they know who's the boss and so what's going on right now is uh, the same thing that was going on with Syria um, the United States and the UN are trying to make um, Iran basically s surrender to their nuclear plans um, it's basically you are going to surrender or we are going to invade your country. Basically, that's what they're telling them in a roundabout way. The same thing with uh, Syria. Now, as of as right now with Syria, they're still in the middle of their civil war. Um, but don't, you know, even though they've kind of brokered a deal about the chemical weapons that they didn't have, which the United States say that they did did have, which is really interesting. Um, even other countries are saying, hey, wait a minute, um, they didn't really have the chemical weapons, but uh, you know, the UN, the United States, and their inspectors are saying that they did, but then they didn't, so it's kind of confusing with Syria. But as of right now, Syria is kind of in the middle of their civil war, so they're kind of occupied, so to speak, but don't worry, uh, the fall of Syria will be coming, it's just a matter of time. Now as with Iran here, um, in news reports recently, uh, the new president of Iran basically was arguing with uh, Obama about what was said at the meeting uh, uh, amongst their uh, negotiators in that uh, the Iran never promised to not stop making nuclear um, enrichment, um, you know, and uh, so basically uh, Obama is basically was saying that um, in a roundabout way to the mainstream media was that you know basically the United States got the best of Iran uh, Iran saying that they didn't get the best of them so it's kind of a war on words here right now uh, but don't kid yourself uh, you know within Iran there's uh, UN uh, you know special reconnaissance missions going on there to uh, you know basically promote unrest so that there'll be a, an eventual overthrow of the government. So uh, that's kind of what's going on um, and what what the United States and the Illuminati and everybody else want is Iran off the map. So that is what's going on and what you have to understand about the mainstream media is the mainstream media will show you images of things that are supposedly going on in Iran or North Korea or Syria at this time and then in reality things like that really aren't going on um, even at that per precise moment. Um, I remember seeing something about North Korea um, you know that they were doing a tank and parade and all this other stuff and you and on a live cam of North Korea uh, it there was nobody even in the uh, main square there uh, it basically was just another day so I what I'm trying to say is that everything you're being told basically from the mainstream media is just propaganda to uh, get you on board here with the access of evil as Bush would say back in the early part of the decade uh, Bush used to say the access of evil basically was Syria North Korea and then of course Iran so Iran is basically living on borrowed time for the most part because eventually um, you know these negotiations are going to break down and what's going to happen is eventually um, the United States and the UN and the Illuminati for the most part are going to start bombing Iran uh, and their chemical weapons and their basically atomic weapons. Uh, chemical weapons haven't been found but I'm sure they'll start throwing that around just to get uh, the public behind them before they do bomb, eventually bomb Iran which is what they're going to do uh, eventually. Uh, so you have to understand that the Illuminati and their banks uh, like in Africa right now, uh, 
you know, in Johannesburg, uh, there's a brand new bank there. It's uh, the Bank of London, uh, sponsored by your friends and mine, uh, the Rothschild family, uh, the Bank of England. And there's a new bank there. So uh, now that uh, we're in South Africa, uh, you know, as far as the Illuminati goes, they want these other countries to jump on board, basically, you know, meaning the rogue countries. That would be Syria. That would be, uh, there's some South American countries that are rogue countries too, but right now we're just working on the Middle East. Um, there, you know, that would be Syria, Iran, and then of course on the Far East, they're North Korea. So they want, they want these people to jump on board, and anyone who doesn't with the Illuminati, they're going to eliminate them. So I want you to look at this map that I'm showing you here. This is on, on Iran. Look at all the black dots and the stars surrounding um, Iran and all the other countries that surround it. Um, these are all military bases that the United States and their allies have. Um, so if you know you start counting all these bases that, that basically go all the way around Iran, um, you know the borders of Iran, um, you have to ask yourself, you know, who really has something to fear? Um, is it the United States and their allies, or is it Iran? Um, so, you know, the mainstream media, you know, projects all this um, stuff, you know, about how hostile Iran is, how they're going to attack everybody, how they're going to do this, how they're going to do that. But I ask you to open your mind and look at this. This is the realities of it, man. You know, I mean, if Iran did anything, doesn't it seem like the United States and their allies could just annihilate Iran? It sure seems that way to me in this map. Look at all those bases surrounding it. Not to mention the nuclear arsenal that the United States holds and some of their allies. So I ask you again, with all these stars that circle Iran, who's really the aggressor here? Is it Iran or is it the United States and their allies? Hmm, makes you wonder. So uh, long term here, uh, you have to understand that everything you're being fed by the mainstream media isn't always the truth. And, and you really need to be objective about that and be aware of that because of the fact that, um, you know, basically um, the UN, the United States, uh, their allies a lot of times here have... Uh, you know, made examples of some of these rogue countries by invading them, taking them over. Um, you know, let's talk about Afghanistan, um, you know, Iraq, um, to name a few. Um, you know, so uh, Libya is another one. Uh, basically, they just throw dust on you and then basically invade you, and that's kind of what's going on. And with Iran, that is what is going to happen. Uh, basically, they will come to a, a conclusion that there's no other answer but to invade Iran and then basically take them over, and that is what will happen long term. Now, will this lead to World War III? That is a possibility. Uh, Syria, they're not done with Syria either. If you think they are, you're nuts. If you think, you're, if you think that Syria has brokered a a long-term deal here where they'll survive, you're mistaken. The only way they'll survive is if the Syria government agrees to go along with all the things the Illuminati wants. And so these three rogue countries still remain at large and the UN and the Illuminati want them eliminated. And that is what will happen because the Rothschild family basically wants a bank in everybody's country and then they want a one world government. The only way to do this is to eliminate the people who are against that. And that is what's going on in the Middle East right now. Iran is living on borrowed time and it is just a matter of time before they are invaded uh, and bombed and taken over for the, the most part because that is what the Illuminati wants. These are the end times. Um, you know, the this will happen. It's just, it's not if, it's a matter of when. Syria and Iran are both living on borrowed time, uh, having to do with the Illuminati, the United States, uh, and basically whatever the Illuminati wants, the Illuminati gets, and that will be coming forth. Anyway, um, I just wanted to wish um, all my brothers and sisters um, having that are out there, even if you're in the Middle East and living in those areas, God bless you. I, I hope the Lord watches over you safely. Um, and, and I ask you to uh, pray for Iran and pray for Syria. There's a lot of peop good people that live in those countries. And don't let the mainstream media just affect your thinking. Because believe me, folks, you're not being told the truth. Anyway, God bless you, folks. Um, I hope everyone has a great day. Thank you for supporting our channel, and we will be back again very soon with another video. God bless you, and have a great day.
Hi folks and welcome back to the Revelations Network. This is Brother Jesse and we're back again with another video. Today's video is titled The Illuminati and the Fall of Iran. So what exactly does this have to do with? Well, um, as you've probably been watching news reports through the mainstream media, um, Iran and the United States and some of the other foreign countries are trying to broker a deal with Iran basically to stop their nuclear uh, enrichment program so that um, they'll basically stop making nuclear bombs or trying to make one. Uh, they are in the process of trying to do that, uh, basically to protect their country for the most part. Um, but the Illuminati, um, along with the United States, uh, Israel, and a few others, countries around the world um, want to make sure that uh, they know who's the boss and so what's going on right now is uh, the same thing that was going on with Syria um, the United States and the UN are trying to make um, Iran basically s surrender to their nuclear plans um, it's basically you are going to surrender or we are going to invade your country. Basically, that's what they're telling them in a roundabout way. The same thing with uh, Syria. Now, as of as right now with Syria, they're still in the middle of their civil war. Um, but don't, you know, even though they've kind of brokered a deal about the chemical weapons that they didn't have, which the United States say that they did did have, which is really interesting. Um, even other countries are saying, hey, wait a minute, um, they didn't really have the chemical weapons, but uh, you know, the UN, the United States, and their inspectors are saying that they did, but then they didn't, so it's kind of confusing with Syria. But as of right now, Syria is kind of in the middle of their civil war, so they're kind of occupied, so to speak, but don't worry, uh, the fall of Syria will be coming, it's just a matter of time. Now as with Iran here, um, in news reports recently, uh, the new president of Iran basically was arguing with uh, Obama about what was said at the meeting uh, uh, amongst their uh, negotiators in that uh, 